Welcome to Hayes Post. I'm Becky Kaiser. The Trio County appraiser has been arrested on drug related charges. John Reeder is also the president of the Joaquini USD 408 School Board. Trigo County Sheriff Richard Hanks says Reeder was taken into custody Thursday at his home. Reeder was arrested on allegations of possession of marijuana, criminal use of a firearm, and two counts of possession of marijuana with intent to distribute within a thousand feet of a school. Charges have been filed in Ellis County District Court against two Hayes residents accused of looting rural mailboxes. The suspects, 32-year-old Jeremy Tryone and 36-year-old Heather Page Hilton, both have been charged with seven counts of mail theft in Ellis County. Hilton is also charged with possession of cocaine and drug paraphernalia, as well as driving under the influence. The two were arrested December 24th following a tip from a resident who called the Ellis County Sheriff's Department to report suspicious activity around mailboxes east of Hayes. The Hayes City Commission held two meetings Thursday night. The first, a makeup of the council December 26 meeting. In that meeting, the commission approved a resolution adopting the 2014 job classification and pay plan. It includes a 1% increase in salaries for all city employees. During the regular scheduled work session, which immediately followed, commissioners heard the annual report of the Big Creek Technical Training Center from Eric Burks. He's president of North Central Kansas Technical College. The city and NCK Tech have a five-year lease agreement for the building on Main Street. It expires in May. City staff and the college both recommend approving a two-year extension of the lease. NCK Tech uses the facility for free. It's responsible for maintenance. They must also construct projects for the city. The recommendation will be moved to the next regular meeting scheduled for January 9th. An amendment to the city's parking regulations also will be on that agenda. Public Works Director I.D. Creech told commissioners the regulations tend to require more parking stalls than are actually needed. The Kansas Department of Health and Environment Bureau of Water has recently certified 39 water treatment operators and 27 wastewater treatment operators. Those operators represent community and public water supply facilities across the state. Area certifications include water operators at Rest Beach of Phillipsburg, Christopher Frack in Norton, and Jason Rothenberger of Osborne. Honey, did you check the softener salt in the reverse osmosis filters? I thought you did that. Look, Mom, it says right here on the monitor. We have 90 days till we need salt and 70 days till we need to change the RIO filters. The Echo Water Monitor tells you about your system. With the new purchase, Steeders will upgrade your Echo Water softener and RO to include the wireless monitor at no extra charge. Plus, make no payment till next year. Enjoy softer hair, cleaner clothes, and healthier drinking water. Echo Water from Steeder Contractors in Great Bend. The service you deserve, the quality you expect. Service Master Clean, Service Master of Haze. Everything we clean, satisfaction guarantee, and we clean everything. We're Service Master of A's, Service Master, Service Master of A's. Hi, Jim Cleland, Cleland Pharmacy in Joaquini. In this left hand is a bottle of Viagra. A lot of jokes about this drug, but no joke if you need it. And the cost of it, I pay $716.49 per 30 tablets. Unaffordable. Here's an answer. Sildenafil citrate, same drug. 90 tablets of 20 milligram tablets, $83.87. Cleland Pharmacy, making prescription therapy affordable for you. Stop! Where are we going? The Starbuck! Don't get left behind. We're waiting for you here at the Sternberg Museum, where there's always new opportunities for... Discovery Under the Dome. Tommy Bahama is just one of the many fashion labels now available for him and her inside Couture for Men and Women at their new location in downtown Hayes. Browse both his and her fashions by Southern Tide, Buffalo Jean's latest styles. A few labels exclusive to ladies include Horny Toad with a classic design and City Girls Elite Fashions. Beautiful accessories, purses, jewelry, and cologne at Couture for Men and Women at 12th and Main in the Chestnut District, downtown Hayes. 
Since 1992, Riedel's Garden Center has provided quality products and services to our communities in Western Kansas. The Garden Center is always full of high quality perennials and bedding plants, trees and shrubs, as well as yard decor. Riedel's Garden Center specializes in residential and commercial landscaping projects, ranging from small updates to a full makeover including design, irrigation and lighting. Count on Riedel's Garden Center, west of Hayes on Highway 40, an authorized fertile home dealer. This is a news update from the Salina Post. A monthly economic report suggests supply managers surveyed in nine Midwestern and Plain states are optimistic about the regional economy over the next six months. The confidence index for the Mid-America Business Condition Index jumped to 66.5 last month from 57.2 in November. However, the overall index rose just two points to 53.2 from 51.2 in November. Creighton University economist Ernie Goss oversees the survey and he says businesses tied to agriculture continue to report softer economic conditions. The survey results are compiled into a collection of indexes ranging from 0 to 100. Survey organizers say any score above 50 suggests growth, while a score below that suggests decline. The survey covers Arkansas, Iowa, Minnesota, Missouri, Nebraska, North Dakota, South Dakota, Oklahoma, and Kansas. CNN has named the Eisenhower Museum and Library as one of the 50 places to visit in the United States in 2014 because of a new exhibit. While most Americans know the powerful nations in conflict during World War II, but the multi-year World War II remembered exhibit at the Eisenhower Presidential Library Museum in Abilene turns its attention to dozens of smaller allied nations and their soldiers who sacrificed for the war effort in Be Ye Men of Valor, allies of the World War II exhibit. Kansas Honor Flight is planning six more flights for veterans this year. The Hutchison-based nonprofit group flies veterans for free to visit memorials in Washington, D.C. The first two flights are scheduled for April 16th and 18th and April 30th and May 2nd. Mike Van Camp, and president of Kansas Honor Flight, says the dates for the four other flights haven't been scheduled. He says when the group flew veterans to Washington, D.C. last July, the temperature was 108, so the group does not plan trips in July and August this year. Most of the veterans on the first two flights are expected to be from World War II, but later flights are expected to include mostly Korean War veterans. The Kansas Supreme Court expected to hear arguments this month and an appeal of a convicted killer of a Kansas abortion provider. The hearing in the first-degree murder case against Scott Roeder is scheduled for January 29th. The court has set aside 30 minutes for it. The abortion opponent is serving a life sentence for the shooting of Dr. George Tiller in May of 2009 as the doctor served as an usher at his Wichita church. Tiller was among a few U.S. doctors known to perform abortions in the last weeks of pregnancy. The defense has argued the judge was wrong when he failed to instruct jurors that they could consider lesser offenses including voluntary manslaughter. Rutter was also convicted of two counts of aggravated assault for threatening two ushers at the church. Salina oncologists Larry Beck, Muhammad Ahmed, Baran Sando, and Jeffrey Geitz will host a chat with Doc from 7 to 8 p.m. on Thursday, January the 9th at the Tammy Walker Cancer Center Conference Room at 511 South Santa Fe in Salina. The presentation is titled, Let's Talk About Cancer, and we'll discuss some of the latest advancements in cancer diagnosis and treatment. Most of the evening will be spent as an informal question and answer session, allowing attendees the chance to ask questions they may have. The forum is open to all cancer patients. Anyone who would like to learn more about cancer, refreshments will be served. If you need more information, you can call 452-4852 or 452-4854. This has been a news update from the Salina Post. Thanks, Randy. For more news and information this weekend or anytime, click on our website. It's HayesPost.com. We'll be back with the weather after this. The holidays are approaching fast, so hurry into Keller Furniture Galleries and take advantage of special purchases on twin, full, and queen Sealy mattress sets starting at $2.99. Start the holiday season with the best night's sleep and feel refreshed again. Company coming for the holidays? Check out Keller Furniture for sofa sleepers in twin, full, and queen. Great styles and comfort ready for immediate delivery. Remember, life's best memories start at home. From Keller Furniture Galleries, where you get more because we care more. See our ad in the next tech directory. Keep the cold outdoors and the warm and cozy indoors using an efficient quadrifier stove, fireplace, or insert available at Heartland Building Center. 
With a variety of fuel and burn options and a wide range of BTUs, Quadrifier heating sources will accommodate any sized home. Stop by Heartland Building Center today and discover the benefits of owning a Quadrifier stove, fireplace, or insert. Heartland takes your building needs to heart. Come see the good guys and let them show you our 2014 new cars and trucks only at James Motor Company. The all new 2014 GMC Sierra offers increased horsepower, torque, with tow capacities up to 11,500 pounds. Sierra's interior brings comfort, convenience, and refinement to a whole new level. We have the integrated camera right into the easy handling tailgate, integrated corner step rear bumper, movable cargo tie downs, and under rail cargo lights. Your house, you've painted it, fixed it, you've insured it, paid its taxes, and you've loved it. We think it owes you big time. So at Bank of Hayes, we've made it easy to take some of that equity you put into your house and turn it into cash you can put in your pocket. And with that cash, you can do anything. With Home Equity Line of Credit, we'll make your house pay. And it's about time. Building better ways. The Bank of Hayes. Building better ways. The Bank of Hayes. Your one-stop shop for appliances, electronics, and mattresses is now bigger and better than ever. Horizon Appliance Electronics features quality Whirlpool, Maytag, KitchenAid, GenAir, and Amana Appliances, all built right here in the U.S. Pick out your next TV from the large selection of Samsung, LG, and Sharp TVs. Experience the true rest with a new Tempur-Pedic mattress and see why they're the most highly recommended mattress in America. Stop in today and find everything you need to make your house feel like home. Open seven days a week. For all the reasons, in the end, you do it for them. Advanced Funeral Planning. It keeps your family informed, creates memories the way you'd like them crafted, and it makes sure everyone is prepared. Pre-planning. It just makes sense. Brock's North Hill Chapel, Hayes. Welcome back. A lot of the one and a half inches of snow that fell in Hayes Wednesday melted in Thursday's bright sunshine. That may change though as the weekend weather forecast calls for more of the white stuff. Another winter storm moving into the central plains will bring a chance of snow and some bitterly cold temperatures for Kansas. Here's the latest look at your Eagle weather. For Hayes, Victoria and Munger, it'll be mostly cloudy, windy with chance of snow Saturday afternoon and Saturday night, one to two inches accumulation possible. Northerly winds 15 to 25 miles per hour in gusty, partly cloudy with a slight chance of light snow again late Sunday afternoon and Sunday night. The high on Saturday, 23 degrees with a low of 7, the high Sunday 17 degrees with a low of 1, sunny on Monday and a high of 17. Russell will be mostly cloudy, breezy with a chance of snow Saturday afternoon and Saturday night. North winds will average 10 to 20 miles per hour in Gusty. It'll be mostly cloudy Sunday with a slight chance of light snow again Sunday night. The high on Saturday 29 degrees with a low of 10. The high Sunday 19 degrees with a low of 1. Sunny on Monday and a high near 16 degrees. And Joaquini and Ellis will be mostly cloudy, breezy with a chance of snow Saturday afternoon and Saturday night. North winds 15 to 25 miles per hour. It'll be partly cloudy with a slight chance of light snow again Sunday afternoon and Sunday night. The high on Saturday 23 degrees with a low of 8. The high Sunday 20 degrees with a low of 2. It'll be sunny on Monday and a high of 18 degrees. From the Carrier Weather Service, I'm Kathy Carrier. And that is Hayes Post News. I'm Becky Kaiser. Have a great weekend.